Assalamu alaikum Dear audience Today in this video I'll be talking about the ongoing conflict of China and Taiwan And in this video I'll try to describe why China will not attack Taiwan If you see the mainstream media and the news outlets they are very eagerly showing that China is giving naval blockade to Taiwan and China has already uh, withdrawn its business with Taiwan so that Taiwan is weakened economically and ultimately seeing the mainstream media news you may think that China will be attacking Taiwan in a very shortest possible time but in this video i am going to say my rationals why i am saying that china will not attack taiwan because china cannot afford at this point of time to attack taiwan so what are my rationals i have got five rationals to justify my opinion The first one is that Chinese economy is slowing down because of the Evergrande issue. You must be knowing that Evergrande is the number one developer company which is a Chinese developing firm and due to its sort of Ponzi scheme it has created a 300 billion dollars bad debts to its flat owners evergrande normally supplies flat to the chinese middle class and upper class so evergrande has taken a scheme that evergrande used to take money advance payment from its clients and evergrande was not used to give its clients flats in uh, minimum possible time for this the clients were not happy and evergrande with the help of chinese government became the world's leading developer company but however within last 10 years evergrande's business has fallen sufficiently and in this year 2022 Uh, people have lost their trust in Evergrande and people have stopped paying for their flats but by this time starting from 1997 when Evergrande started its operation by 2022 Evergrande has accumulated a bad debt of 300 billion dollars and is on the onus in on the Chinese government is to give a bailout to Evergrande and if chinese government is g- giving a bailout plan to evergrande by providing 300 billion dollars so the chinese economy has taken a huge dent and for this their gdp the projection is that their gdp will slow down sharply and you must be knowing that chinese per capita income is not that great Although China is the biggest economy of the world by this time, but its GDP is lower than USA, Germany, and Taiwan itself. So my first opinion is that due to Chinese economic slowdown, China will not be able to attack Taiwan at this point of time. My second rationale is that the, due to the Evergrande issue, Chinese middle class is not happy on Chinese government. and as well as the evergrande so as chinese government has patronized this developer company evergrande so the middle class is not happy and they have stopped paying money to the developer so there is a huge crisis in china right at this point of time and this issue is a number one issue in china so the middle class is not at all happy on chinese government and keeping its middle class unhappy china's government will not wage a war with taiwan this is my opinion now the third opinion is that 
even if in this limiting factor of the chinese economy if china is still making a plan of attacking taiwan then us will immediately give naval blockade in the pacific and if china gets a sea line blockade then china is dependent on importing huge raw materials and uh, natural gas oil etc from russia so if china gets a naval blockade from us pacom pacific command in the pacific and if china is unable to remove that blockade then china's economy will slow down further my fourth question is that china has not fought a major war after 1965 The last war China fought with India in 1965 was the land battle. And if China is contemplating an attack over Taiwan. So, you know that Taiwan is located 160 km away from the Chinese mainland and there is a sea in between China and Taiwan. It is called Taiwan Strait. So, China has to mount a China has to mount a Uh, amphibious operation for claiming Taiwan, and it has to start with a air force strafing. So Chinese air force is presently a very big air force, I understand. But in order to mount a amphibious operation and clear Taiwan, and subjugate the chinese population so all together it's a very cumbersome operation and i'm not sure whether china will be able to do it because china has not fought a, fought a major war within last 30 years whereas its opponent usa is a seasoned war fighting machine and usa has fought its active battle before few days in afghanistan and usa is still engaging itself in uh, operations overseas so us is a citizen military in case of warfare so fighting a war with us will not be very easy and again us is backed up by its european allies where china is supported by russia so there is a the balance of power is i think more towards the western side or the us side and my final rational is that china's belt road initiative in belt road initiative china has invested a huge amount of money and due to its nature of military type investment the return of investment or roi will not be great so since china has diverted a huge amount of money in belt road initiative or the bri initiative which is otherwise known as one belt one road initiative so as china is not getting the required return on its investment on that project so chinese economy is suffering due to belt road initiative and this is my final rational that china will not be able to attack taiwan even if with all the limitation limiting factors i just mentioned if china even attacks taiwan i think it will be a hugely a great move a huge uh, unexpected move i would say uh, but in order to make such a move china still need to make a general mobilization and then china has to prepare it logistically and administratively and in order to i said that in order to mount a amphibious operation china has to take a huge lot of preparation and the taiwanese people will try to make the war a protracted war a longer war so i'm not sure whether the chinese economy is ready for a longer version of warfare so these were my rationals in showing my rationals 
I'd like to conclude by saying that China will not be able to attack Taiwan because of economic condition. Thank you very much for watching this video. Assalamualaikum.